All right, hey guys, this is C Rock. Welcome back. Uh, here we are in the second part of the Sting of the Scorpion. Yes, this is the second part of a Sun Jotto, and uh, we'll describe Suman Guru as a cruel tyrant, the sorcerer in command of powerful spirits. He was said to possess a magical ball of fun, which would grant him victory if he played it. Ah. Uh -huh. He could not be injured except with the spur of a rooster. Hmm. Sounds like Achilles. Regardless of the rumors, he was above all an ambitious conqueror from the west, seeking to seize the lands of the old empire of Ghana for his own. To this end, he moved his seat of power to Gumbi Saleh, once the capital and heart of that ancient kingdom. Sunjata knew that contesting such a man would be difficult. The Soso had allied with other tribes in the north, the Jolof, the Diafanu, and others like them who made great gains from Soso control of the Saharan tribe. With such powerful allies and even more powerful armies, no one dared to rise up against him. Sunjata had one advantage. He was still remembered as the crippled prince of the Mandinkas, still thought to be weaker than he really was. As long as this was to be believed, the Soso would dismiss him as inconsequential, and he could form his own alliances. To provide proof of this miraculous transformation from crippled boy to strong prince, he took up the Baobab branch from his youth and began a journey. From people to people and kingdom to kingdom, he traveled to rally support. A big giant tree in the middle of Africa there. <laughs> right there. And here we are in the replay. Alright. So I started making villagers immediately. And I started having them get wood and uh, food. Food was a big thing. Um, I, you start off with uh, the barracks and uh, the stable and this and a few other things. And then, you know, you have this is over here. And this, this, this is a hut. This is the house. Okay. This house does not match these houses, so I don't know who constructed this one. It was different. It was a different company. <laughs> this is the house in the outside of the com the uh, walls. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna have them chop, and we're gonna continue to make villagers. We are making some. Are these guys I did speed it up because not much happens I need to bring this trophy or whatever you want to call it this relic that's on a cart to each one of these spots okay and I gotta make sure that I don't lose the uh, thing like basically I don't lose where it is I had that happen to me at one point not in this one but in, a, in an earlier game where I played as Sunjotu and I just couldn't find it and I had to restart and I was just like where was it? I lost it. Oh. And that was the case with that one. This was done into two uh, saves. So I had to do two saves. So this one will be a tad bit long. Um, these are light cavalry that I have made. Yes, 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 yes. The light cavalry. They are very light. You could pick them up with your bare hands. The enemy is now in my town. <laughs> and all this stuff. Ugh. We must not let the enemy be in my town. We all know what happens if that happens. We kill the enemy. <laughs> As it 
kills us. They, 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 they do attack you and abuse you at times. At the beginning, it's like, ah, oh, you know what, I need to <laughs> just take them out continuously. Ah. Oh. And we continue to attack them. And these guys continue to fire on those guys. I sound like a person who's explaining World War Three. They're firing on us, and we're firing on them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who was them? I do not know. Does it matter now? <laughs> um, these are the light cavalry, the scout cavalry. No, they're not light cavalry. These are the nothings. They have three plus two. So they deal with five attack. How did I give them the plus two? It must have been... No, I don't have it built yet. I do build one later on, though. Ah, they must have... Oh, I am at the feudal age. I, no, the castle age. I am at the castle age now. So this is good. You want to get the castle age as quick as possible. Because then you can start upgrading your troops. Pretty much. Yeah. And this, this, this. Oh, we're building a university now. A university now. For my people to go to school in. Yes. Yes. I did upgrade to elite skirmishers. Because they are good. And now I'm creating uh, camels and uh, crossbowmen. And uh, my aim is to basically uh, uh, intensify four firepower on this area. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, and it, it, it's, it's, it's not going too well, as you can see. I need to apply siege. Which is why I am making a siege construction right here. This, this villager is working very hard away at it. As you can see, boom, boom, boom. It's built, people. Do not tell me it was not. <laughs> For it is clearly there. <laughs> now this person we go ahead and send off to go ahead and... Make a farm. We do have a blacksmith now. Um, does it say where I'm, what I'm upgrading the end blacksmith somewhere? Like, I don't know. Right now I don't know what I'm upgrading. I have to click on it, does it do like. No, you just don't know what you're making anywhere at any point in time, because I know I'm making people here. No, 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 you know what you're making. No, you do know when you're making things. So you know when it's happening. I did know that earlier, yes, it's true. Ah, see, I'm now making the, I don't even know what happened with all that. yeah. I'm now making the siege rams, and this is the, uh, the onagers after that too. And this, this is a siege tower, we will make that. I don't know why I made it. I don't know why you would ever want to make a siege tower, in my opinion, though. Uh, you gotta know what you're doing. They are useful, you can use them, but they don't fire or anything. That would be nice if they did. They're nice to go and hold troops on it and go ahead and get them over a uh, wall. But they're not used like they are in Total War. And this, this, we had to repair this and make this go ahead and happen a few times. So we're now attacking like this with this. And these guys are attacking this way. So, they will come and attack this space right here. And we will see how that goes, right? And you see, I got on in and everything. So. Uh, 
Uh, these battering rams, and in there, and then sea challengers. I'm attacking here. I need to use these guys to go ahead and attack more of them. Yes, and and they're gonna go ahead and attack this place. Oh, look at this. It's getting away from me. We must find it. I wiped them on out. Oh, they killed me. Why? I only attacked them. <laughs> Why would they attack me back? <laughs> Some people would think this way, actually. <laughs> Uh, so, we're gonna make more of these. Uh, uh, see, ramps. Ah, I destroyed it. <laughs> yeah, I was just so fed up with how it went with that one. I was like, I'm not gonna use them anymore. Let's delete it. We can just use the siege ramps. They are much more easier and better to go ahead and do everything. The the mangonels though are pretty good too. Are the onagers? The onagers? Are the mangonels or onagers? Mangonels, I think, is the next upgrade of them. Onagers, yes. Onagers or whatever the hell they call them. The catapults. I do plan on getting the uh, HD of Age of Empires and playing that in the future. Um, trying that one on out. Uh, it does have a nice sale with Age of Empires 2 in the future, so I can go ahead and get it then for 30 bucks to go ahead and get them both. So that will probably end up happening on Steam. Um, until then, we will do all of these campaigns. Uh, we did just build a castle, so why not? A castle in celebration of that. See? The castle has been built. These people, th th this person mostly hacked away at it. <laughs> Tell you the truth. <laughs> So, then we have all these scorpions that we decided to make. We decided to make a bunch of scorpions, because in the end, I need to put my uh, relic right there. Where is it at? See, this is the problem that happens. I lost it already. Maybe I should make it a group. Can I do that? I can do that in mid-replay. I didn't know that. That's interesting. I just guessed to watch what they do and go ahead and go back to them. Uh huh. That is very interesting. So he's fine on these guys. I lose this. And we have to go ahead and take care of a bunch of this. As this is happening. And we're taking out the stable. And this is the final destruction of their people. And their area. Uh, as they finally try and go ahead and make siege weapons right now. And uh, as you can hear it, you hear it, the farms were just running out. And I was just like, no, no. My people must not stop gathering food and farming. We must continue <laughs> to feed the people, of course. We must continue to feed the people. And we are doing that immensely well. 2,000 2, food. It's gone very well with food. Um, that is a good thing. Uh, everything else is kind of like lagged off because of it though. Because there's not that much else of the gold and it's, it's pretty hard to go ahead and get a hold of it. Um, and same with... Uh, stone, stone, there's like two areas of stone in this whole fracking map. Right here, which I have to beat down these guys to go ahead and get to it and hold it. And like, nowhere else. <laughs> I think it might be, no, no, there was gold over here. And there were, is gold over here in this area. At this area, there was. And I'm chopping the wood down here, so the wood is supplementing for that. Wood I have quite a bit of probably too. I have 
uh, over a thousand. I can't really read it right now because I got the, the timer right in front of me here on this one. But hey, we are continuing to attack them. It, it is being an, a relentless force as we gather for the final push into their city and into the backdrop to stop them from attacking me. And as soon as we take out this area, this is the last push, I believe. Uh -huh. And we're taking that on out. And now we're going to go ahead and beat that guy yeah, on down. And during this time frame, I'm going to go ahead and put my, uh... Where are they at? They're still here. I'm going to move them probably pretty soon. Because it's just over. Yeah. Yep. As I continue to obliterate them. Um, this is what John Bolton wanted to do to the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I had to make a funny joke. Uh, anyway, continue just to effortlessly blow up the area uh, and think it would do something. Uh, and now I am moving these guys over with the scorpions. To go ahead and uh, take out this little area. Yes, 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 yes. As these guys, these guys are killing these guys. And uh, the ostrich. This is interesting. There are many ostriches around in Africa. So they had to put that in the game. It is quite interesting. They do have all the animals. And now it is reached that area. And now I've finished that part. And we will now load up the next part so mm -hmm. this one all right so now we're gonna load up this one and it takes place from right where we left off as you can see we took this part and these are the guys we'll go ahead and number them they are the first group and we need to now take this area and this area on out. Okay, so let's see how that goes. We are doing even better on food now that I notice it. Five, over 5,000, you know, and uh, what does it look like? 8,000 for the other one? I don't know. I can't tell how much wood we have. Is there another way to look at it? Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. Crit tribute? No. Uh -huh. No, oh, wasn't there a thing that you could go ahead and trade between people? Is that not up there? I don't know. So they're attacking me over here, and they took control of it at one point. Yes, and I attacked them back. Because you have to keep men in the area to go ahead and make it be, like, yours or something. That's the case. And with that being the case, we are doing very well with it. Okay. As you can see, this is happening. I am pushing up the assault up this way. Uh, this is the assault on their lands. Um, and with 
the assault on their lands. We will continue to go ahead and move the siege up. And then we can go ahead and make this guard tower as we continue to move up the siege to this area. As we continue to decide what to do about this area over here in this place. I love these trips over there. And we have to have this place attack this. Yes. And they are now attacking the archers and the blacksmith and continuing to attack them. So we have definitely done that. And I have building the next wave too, as you can see. The subtitles, the next wave is ready right behind them to go on in. Okay. So, with that said, uh-huh. They have a lot of villagers, all of them. They continue to make things constantly with their villagers. And we have decided to send on in the, uh... Are they here still? Are we sending them on in? Yeah, they're there. And they went ahead and blew up everything now. So, that was quick. They must be fast. So now that they have blown up everything, I have decided to go ahead and see. Here's my relic. I can move him in here pretty quickly. Pretty easily. So, we'll do that in a little bit. Well, they did rebuild their siege um, thing right here. So, we have to take that on out. Plus... They did have to build a monastery! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And now we sent in everybody continuously to protect the area and fight the area because I am sending my um, relic in there pretty soon after I go ahead and send everybody in there right now to go and protect the area. Uh-huh. So we continue to attack. This is the... Sengraarians that we are attacking, and we are the uh, Malayans. We have the Malayans too, though. They are the same group as we are. And then we lost the. Uh, it turned red. The relic. Yes. And then I had to move it around, so. We are getting it there, and it does get there in the end. And this... They shall oppose us no longer. So now, we must build up to face green. And I decided to stage all my forces here. At this village. Uh, so I needed to get all my forces over there, and I started making... Um, villagers to go ahead and put over here. To go ahead and build a castle and a few other forces to go ahead and attack that area. So, that's what I did. As we can see, this is the staging force. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, it is. And this is the farmer. The farmer is doing nothing. But now my group, well, you see, now we're building a castle right on the encroachment of his lands. We wish to... Uh, have his lands uh, <laughs> and on this area too so once we build all that we will go over there this doesn't trap her she's able to get through there and so are they now I've begun the attack uh, this is the first wave I will be also making um, Saboteurs with this later on for the second wave. But I wanted to go ahead and take out the uh, the gates and the um, watchtowers there. And now we can start attacking the houses. Uh, and 
just taking the area on out, the infrastructure. And all the other area. And then we're gonna do all that. Now we built this. these things and this we wish to go ahead and send this big pile of guys at all of them and that's what we'll do with that And continue to beat down this area. Mm -hmm. They're all attacking it. And we're continuing to beat down these siege workshops too. As we attack the mills too. And then the game paused and replay game. This is when I want, I believe. Ah, uh, yes. But basically, it continued. I've never had that happen to me before. That's interesting. Um, I must have hit pause or something. I don't know what happened with it. Now that's where the gameplay ended. Uh, I did manage to go ahead and bring it over there. I did build ships for whatever reason. And we did manage to take this area. And that's all you need to do. Um, hit like and subscribe. And uh, thank you for tuning in. All right. Um, leave a comment if you want to. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.